What's going on guys? Welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Thank you to all my subscribers and Patreons. Thank you for to all of you who donate to the channel. Uh, if you're interested, you know, in helping the channel out and uh, helping me save amazing old school machines, the links are going to be down below. Thank you so much for all your support. Once again, today we're going to be changing the uh, transmission uh, filter, oil, and pan gasket on this 1991 Mercedes 190E. This applies to a lot of classic lenses, and yeah, this is the filter. I'm going to show you some more parts right now, and uh, let's get started. First things first, I'm gonna loosen the drain plug. It's a five millimeter Allen. There we go. So you can see fluid is actually pretty clean. Yeah, because uh, I don't have the reason why, but yeah, it's actually pretty clean. I mean, I was checking it before, but still I want to change the filter and pan gasket on it. So since the car is like tilted now, lifted, so I want to actually lower it a little. That way it can drain a lot more and better. All right, so I'm letting it drain right there. And then once it finishes draining, then we're gonna proceed to actually lifting the car normally, putting it on jack stand and all that, and uh, getting the pan off. All right, these are my parts. So I got the transmission pan, or transmission filter, pan gasket. I got oil, Dex uh, 3, or actually the red Valvoline bottle works too, no problem. And also what I'm gonna add, usually when I change the transmission fluid on a bunch of these cars, I add at least one quart of uh, Lucas trans additive, just a really good thick red fluid. And you know, just one bottle per oil change is a really good thing for these amazing machines. So it's the plan. All right, these are six uh, or 13 millimeter six of those bolts that you have to take out. Okay, I've loosened all of them. We're gonna drop this pan here shortly. Alright, so we'll uh, let it drain the rest of the way. I'm gonna change the filter shortly and I'm gonna be taking care of this pan, cleaning it, sanding it, painting a little bit, and installing a new gasket. And then I'm gonna clean the surface here everywhere. So I have the car jacked up. And also on jack stand right there with a piece of big rubber to protect the body. Yeah, make sure safety is number one. So the pan is actually looking pretty good. All right, there's somebody, uh, some smart man added this uh, magnet. Good job, all right. So that's really important actually. And look at that, this gasket was torn right here. Wow, let's see. It's not too bad, it's not really like brittle, but it's like, it's getting there, huh? wonder when this uh, oil was changed last. All right guys, now I'm gonna be taking this filter out. So let me loosen these screws. Actually, one of the screws were, was kind of loose. Yeah. So I'm gonna take these guys out. It's a little windy today, so gotta work with the wind. screws are out. It's our filter. Yep. Looking good. Filter. Good thing we're changing all this. So I'm using gasoline actually and I'm cleaning this pan, making it perfect. Got new filter ready to go. Just waiting on these three screws to get dry. I just cleaned them. Let's get in this thing installed. I'm gonna put some automatic trans fluid on these seals before installation. 
All right, so I've got the filter installed. And then I also cleaned the surface area where the gasket goes and everything. So it's gonna be all nice and we can go ahead and start prepping the pan and installing the pan back along with the new gasket. All right, the pan is all cleaned up, ready to go. I'm about to install a new gasket and reinstall this pan back onto the car. Quick tip for you guys. So to prevent rust in these places here, just put some silicone paste right here. This will stop the rust and will not cause any rust outs. All right, the bolts are cleaned up. Pan gasket installed, magnet is back. Make sure you put the magnet right there, otherwise it's gonna hit the filter once you install the pan, it's really bad. So make sure you know what you're doing. Yeah, let's go ahead and install this bad boy. All right guys, this is a really super important step. So you're gonna start all the bolts by hand. And when you're tightening it, don't use the torque wrench. Just use your hand, but just be really careful. As soon as the bolts are snug, you kind of first start crisscross pattern. And then as soon as the bolts are like getting like tight, that you feel like they're getting tight, just stop. Because these don't require a lot of torque. You know, you don't want to over tighten them and bend these, these ears and cause a leak. Yeah, so use uh, the smallest ratchet that you have. So in this case, I'm going to use the quarter inch ratchet. And yeah, I'm just literally gonna run all the bolts down I'm gonna look at the gasket and as soon as I see the gasket kind of starts getting a little bit more squishy like not too much just a little bit I'm gonna stop and that's what I'm gonna do with all these bolts and as you can see I'm just using this little ratchet and I'm not putting a lot of force all right so I'm gonna tighten this a little bit here also make sure that the gasket is flush all the way around it's not pinched that's really really important so just take your extra time and you know, look everywhere at that gasket, make sure it's not pinched. All right, I think I'm done tightening it. It didn't take much, honestly. As you can see, this ear is not bent. You know, if it's bent, you're gonna see it kind of like go face that way a lot more. So yeah, just be careful. It doesn't take too much to, you know, tighten these. And uh, yeah, just take your time. You know, this will take practice for you. But if you haven't seen the other video on the 2004 Mercedes, which it had a different design, a lot better design than this design actually, because they were using the blocks and those little blocks, they will not let you squish the gasket or damage the pan. But these ones, you have to be a little more careful with these. All right guys, now it's time to add the fluid and make sure your funnel is clean and everything. Watch out for the wind. Give her the best thing, fresh trans oil and everything. She's gonna be a happy girl. Oh yeah. All right, now we're gonna add Lucas. All right. Entire bottle. It's gonna take a little bit depending on what temperature is outside. Uh, it's nice thick fluid as you can see. Woohoo. So far, so good. No leaks. Yeah. Looking amazing. Looks like I overfilled it a little bit, but maybe not. Yeah, you just have to be really patient. Yeah, it's actually not bad at all. I'm gonna recheck it one more time. Guys, not gonna lie, it feels amazing driving this machine again. Uh, I did so much work to it. Transmission service, flex discs, tire, uh, not tie rods, but uh, the vent valve and everything, guys. It's, thing the transmission shifts so much better right now actually i just have to work on my vacuum actually i guess just adjustment a little bit but it's actually like amazing i just love this machine so much what a great car did so much work to it and cooling lines are brand new and literally what a champ you know these are the cars that you have to love cherish take care and put love to these cars only old school old school only Nothing newer than I would say 2006, 7. 
Yeah, ah oh, man, feels amazing. The baby bends. Yeah. I'm gonna go back and uh, recheck the trans oil level. Make sure that oil level is good. And yeah, wow, what a machine. Man, I missed driving this machine. She was sitting because of that FCP Euro order that was messed up, the defective line that they sent me. But yeah, oh man, feels amazing driving this car, guys. I kid you not, what a pleasure driving this machine. Yeah. All right, gonna go recheck the trans oil and then we're good to go. Uh, obviously check for leaks, but I didn't see any leaks. Everything was actually pretty good. So, so where the level is actually, so that's pretty good. It's looking really nice, fan shroud and everything. Man, it's crazy to think because like when I got this car, it had a lot of stuff missing, like a bunch of plastics missing. Like this uh, auxiliary water pump, I still have to install it because the old one was missing. Yeah, just the wires cut off. This was missing, this fan shroud, the cover for the ignition coil was missing. Just a bunch of stuff, you know? I love when the cars are complete, you know? Like even small stuff like this, like the cover for the battery uh, post. Yeah. Also, this one's still waiting on a switch for this uh, hood switch because this one was kind of finicky. I just decided to order a new one. It was like $4 for genuine parts. I'm waiting on that. Yeah. All right, guys. So here's the transmission. We're looking great. No leaks. Uh, so... The only thing is I decided not to paint it. I mean, I could have painted it, but uh, I was kind of running out of time. And um, the paint is actually, the, the paint is not bad itself. There's no rust on it. It's actually pretty clean. So I just left it like this for now. And then, you know, if there's a need in the future, I can always redo it in the future. But as of right now, there's literally no rust and the paint looks good on the pan and it's in great shape. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And for those of you who are wondering why I didn't uh, drain the torque converter, well, it's not that I didn't feel like it. I just, uh, you know, the fluid was actually pretty clean and there was actually no need for that, to be honest with you. I mean, you could, I could have done it, honestly, but it's not a huge deal. And, uh, you know, so don't, uh, don't start bashing on me. Don't start like saying those crazy comments, but <clears throat> you know, it's not a huge deal. The main thing is that I did the service drop the pan clean the pan change the filter gasket and put fresh fluid in it so and it's all the way up to the max so that's the most important thing 